Today, we are doing a Beast Claw run. Max New Game. That's New Game plus six for the uninitiated. We're doing it with the Beast Transformation. The Beast Embrace rune is equipped. If you haven't seen it before, there's two transformation runes in this game. One of them is the Milkweed rune, which you might have seen me use with the Cos Parasite. And this is the Beast Embrace rune that you get from Lawrence. Turns you into a big, beautiful, hairy beast. I mean, that's kind of the rune that I have equipped in real life. If you can't, if you can't notice a resemblance, me and this dude look pretty much exactly alike. He's just lacking a beard. I've got a little bit more hair. You should see my left shoulder hair. It's covered with a shirt right now. And my back hair. Oh, dude, it's ridiculous. But here's a little tip. People ask me all the time. How do I get a beard like Yuzu's? I see your beard is majestic. Well, my back hair grows in exactly like this, and this is what I do. I shave off my back hair, and then spirit gum it onto my face. Instant beard. Easy strats. You're welcome. Thank me later. Lil Juice with the brand new gifted subscription. Thanks so much, Lil Juice. Watch this now. Ha! Easy life. Already destroying the game. Give me my blood. Piero Griff with the 35-month resubscription. Good to see you, dude. Have fun on the fluffy run. I wouldn't have it any other way. I almost... I got stuck on that gravestone. What is this? What is this? So the Beast Claw has a few awesome attacks. It's got this jump attack, which you've already seen. And it's also got this roar innate to it. It also has a special power. You don't need to use beast blood pellets. You have innate beasthood while using the beast embrace rune in transform mode. Oh, he tagged me a little bit. That's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Just watch your item randomizer on YouTube. What a ride that was. I'm glad you guys are liking the randomizers. We have... I'll put up another one, too. We do them every Monday. Hopefully, we can get to it this Monday as well. Uh, we don't need to go back to the dream for any reason. The Happy Welshman with the four-month resubscription. Jump off, lock on, dash forward, and let's not pick up the fastest mollies in the business because we don't need them. We don't need them. I already have basically all the items on this character. We, d we don't need any Molotov cocktails, trust me. Bob and Weave. This is going to be a boss rush. Bam. Can we see your stats? No. You can imagine my stats. 99 everything. All right, fine. I'll show you my stats. What did I tell you? 99 everything. I just dumped my insight, though. My dude Tay with the subscription. The brand new KO Ken times five gifted subscription hitting me with a sub cannon straight to the solar plexus right at the start of the run. What are you doing, man? What are you doing? Five gifted subs. You are a legend. And that guy with the 19 month back to back Twitch Prime resubscription. You guys are going insane, all right? I'm, try I'm trying to give you good commentary here, and all you are doing is subscribing and giving me money. What is the reason? Stop giving me money. Yo, 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 my main man, Zeus and Mitch, how are the two of you? I'm doing all right. I don't even know if Mitch is here. I don't even know if Mitch is here. He's taking the day off. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. He wasn't expecting the early stream at 8.30 in the morning. We'll, we'll have to we'll have to yell at him if he if he if he makes his way in here he'll probably try to slide in in the back of the room sit down with like a with like a hood over his his face so we can't tell it's him he'll pretend like he's been here the entire time I know his I know his ways little birdie told me with the 100 Don't bits tell me what to do I will tell you what to do that is my job and role as the blood god of bloodborne everything I say you do you do. 
Let's draw this jabroni to the stairs here. I'm gonna use the old hunter's bone because it's sick as hell. And jump on his face. We're gonna backstep that, jump him again. Oh, back-to-back -back jumps. Wow, he tried to double shot me here. That's not gonna work. Let's hit him in. Wow, he's got a quick shot, man. He's got a quick shot. Good thing about the beast claw is, though, if you're an R1 spammer, it's your dream. Wait a second, don't hit that. Okay, he's transformed to trick two. Dude. It's enough to make him out Dude. He almost killed me right there. That's insane damage. Oh, wait a second, dude. Wait a second. Let me live. Let me live. I'm just a nice little beast. I'm a nice little beast here. Scream on him. Yeah. What now? What now? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. He's telling me what now. Beast bone again. Jump on him. There we go. Now he's going to transform. But we're going to dodge the explosion. Trick ourselves. Go for the charge R2. Miss it, but we got the slam down. Back, 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 back. And forward. He tries to kick, and I try to swipe. Hit him with a roar. In our victory. Good first fight of the day. He almost killed me a couple times there, but he's no match for the blood god. That damage... Hey, it's new game plus six, man. But the thing is, we have high damage, but they also have high damage. You know what I mean? And the, th the one drawback with uh, the, the Beast Embrace rune is that you have very low defense. And you'll notice that I don't have a chest piece because if you put on a chest piece, it, it, it hides all your glorious hair. And, and we don't want that. We don't want that at all. We want to show off the hair. We've got a lot of hair, and we're proud of it, that's for sure. That's heal action. Head up to the Cathedral Ward. You make dioramas, miniatures, and Zeus makes the perfect background noise while I'm grafting. You're one of my work lurkers, I love it. Lurkers are the backbone of Twitch. Tons of people watch me while they're doing their work. You thought it was New Game 7? Nope, this is not Dark Souls 3. In Demon Souls and in Bloodborne, Max New Game is New Game plus 6. Same, I think, with Dark Souls as well, but I'm not, I'm not entirely sure of that. Not entirely sure of that. Good morning, Scottish Geek. How are you doing today? Oh, God. Oh, God. The beasts, the beasts are coming for me. The beasts are coming for me. Oh my god. Go through the door. Go through the door. We can make it. We're fine. We're fine. Pick up the madman's knowledge on the way down. Good to go. Quick wraps. I'll get some blood bullets here. Quick heals out. There's a nice spot of uh, blood, uh, blood vials right at the start of this level, so we can just top ourselves off. We're gonna get it. Oh, just one, curious, one great did thing. You get to level 544 with chalices or living failures. Love uh, your stream. Both. I got the the last little bit of my. I was like level like f th 390 or 400 or something, and then I fought living failures in new game plus six. Killed them with double visceral attacks with all three air runes and got 660 million blood echoes to top off my final, final last hundred levels or whatever it was there. Oh, Bob and Weave. On this character, we've gone through, I don't know, a lot of runs. Maybe a hundred, maybe more, I don't even know. Nobody really knows how many runs I've done on this character. It's almost 200 hours of playtime. Oh, if you notice that, there was like a little bit of a scooch roll right there. The roll while you're in beast mode is different. You'll also notice that I didn't take any fall damage there. No fall damage. So the only way you would take fall damage while using this rune is if you are going to die. Otherwise, all fall get damage is negated. Now, I am using a couple uh, runes over here. I'm using the beast rune. Oh, oh, God. Hold on. This guy is bothering me here. I don't know why he's bothering me. He usually doesn't like to come down this far. I'm using the beast rune to give me extra beasthood. 
And I'm also using two lake runes for, I think, 7% damage reduction and 5% damage reduction as well. Alright, let's use that bone. Gonna try to wrap around Susie, hit her with the booty slap, go for the visceral, give her a lesson in proctology. We'll dash forward, hit her with the R1, L1, L1. Both of those missed, no big deal. Full charge. She's trying to eat my face off, we're not letting that happen though. I love the transformation attacks while we do this. And roll through. Quick use on the bone again. Oh man. That was rough. I was just a little bit too late with my dodge there. Nice. Get over here. Get over here. Trying to eat my face, not gonna work. Just missed the booty slap dash, dude. I was going for it. Go for it again. Ah, we hit her on the side. We hit her on the side. Oh no, she transformed on the pillar. That's not a pillar, Zeus, that's a statue. Do I need a lesson in architecture? I'm sorry, I've spent my life booty slapping and hunting beasts. I'm not an architecture genius. Whoa, double jump. She jumped and I jumped. Hit her with the roar. And kill her quick. Not a bad way to finish the fight. Sir Chubby Dog with the brand new double gifted subscription. Thank you so much, Chubby Dog. And another hundred bits. Thank you so Easy much. Find love your streams and YouTube content. Oh, that's very nice of you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. That was wild. I love doing this run. It's such a fun weapon, man. And this, this, this weapon and the Cos Parasite are one of the reasons that I always talk about a Bloodborne MMO. And I'm not kidding when I say it. Because imagine having 10 or 15 different transformations with different weapons. I would love it. Please, Miyazaki. Give me the Bloodborne MMO BR in VR on PC in 69 FPS with the Bloodborne Cart minigame. Is that really just too much to ask? I don't think so. I think that's I think that's perfectly fine and you can get it done real quick. If you if you don't want to do it yourself though, I'm open for the position as director. I'll get it done. <laughs> Look at this fall damage, dude. Nothing. No fall damage. Super early today. Was not prepared at all. Uh look at him. Waltzing in late. Waltzing in late. Claiming that I didn't tell him I was going to get on early. My, my moderator. Unbelievable. I'm on to you. I'm on to you. You just want Bloodborne Cart? Bloodborne Cart's not enough. We need it all, bro. We need it all. I'm so looking to maxing out my character so it can do all kinds of weapon runs and max new game. You... I'll be honest, you don't need like a max level character. It's good so you can do every single weapon, but you can do these runs in New Game 6 long before you have max max levels. I used to do them when I had like 50. Get 50 of everything first and then start a uh, get 90 I would recommend getting 99 vit and then and then leveling up all the other uh, individual stats as you please. Arcane's a great one to level up to 99 early because arcane scaling doesn't really stop like the other ones stop. Let's open this gate just in case. Oh, you know what? I can actually do more damage. We have fire papers over here. Cool Sir Dash with the four month resubscription. Thanks so much, cool sir. You do these runs on like 180 levels? I think that's what you meant. Yeah, like I said, you don't you don't need all these levels. I've just gotten these all these levels over time. 99 arcane with executioner's glove is awesome. Dude, arcane does some serious damage. Serious damage. Let us pray. Let us wish. 
to partake in communion. All right, let's wail on her. Can we get a limb break off the bat? No, we can't. Dude, she punched. She punched, should we just go for rally? Ah, that was a mistake, we missed it up. Roll through. There it is. Try to get some beast hood on the, on the meter here. Oh my god, we didn't even take the visceral. Just spamming her. Just spamming her. Go for the jump. Did we hit it? I think we hit it. Damn, she can't touch me, man. I'm too good. I'm too quick. I'm too sly. Okay, never mind. Never mind, I take that back. I take it back. No, she's gonna hit me. Ooh, bone it. Bone it. Now we're speedy boy. Now we're speedy boy. Jump. Oh, the crotch shot. The crotch shot. Oh, give me that face. It's a pretty face. Let me destroy it. Oh, the visceral damage. We got 5,000. 5,000. Dude, the beast claw absolutely rakes. Let me take off this gun. I don't like how it looks. We don't need a gun. We don't need a gun. You killed Amelia for the first time, gun only the other day. It was so much fun. Dude. That's the great thing about Bloodborne, man. You can play this game in so many different ways. There's so many different weapons. Each one uniquely affects the gameplay. You can do it gun only. You could do it bow only. You could do it arcane only. You could do it uh, with beast claws, cos parasites, kirk hammers, saw cleavers, stake drivers, blood ladder. Oh, dude, there's just so much. There's so much you can do with in this game. So much variety, so much variety. Except when I say that there's so much variety. I don't know why I repeated that twice. It's early, all right? It's, oh, it's, it's 8.45 in the morning. I don't know what I'm talking about. How are you doing? I'm doing great, man. I'm doing great. How are you? The true fluffy god. <laughs> it's almost Friday again? I know. Today is Thursday. It's surprising that I actually know the day of the week. Usually, I have no idea what day it is. Life as a Twitch streamer, man. You want to try an arcane build next? Only one I haven't done? Go with the Milkweed Rune, get the Cause Parasite, man. And just uh, use all your hunter's tools. Especially the ones you, you like the most. I usually use the Augur of Ebrietis. I use a Call Beyond. Black Sky Eye. Those are some nice ones to use. What's this? Thick cold blood. I'll take it. I'll take it. Damn, that lady was mean. She was mean. Let's heal real quick. Let's heal real quick. Bob and weave. Dude, the, I'm not actually faster, but doesn't it feel like I'm running faster? It feels that way to me. It could totally be wrong, though. What's this item? A pebble? I don't need that. Just in case. Just in case. We'll get the shortcut. Oh, there's a better shortcut to get. I don't need that one. I will spool up the blue elixirs, though. After you climb this ladder, you get up onto the rooftop. And you have to drop down. And there's a whole bunch of dogs with spikes in them. That if you don't use a blue elixir for this area, you could really just die if you try to speedrun through it. Um, even even on speedruns, we usually use blue elixirs here because it's just not worth it. It does waste time drinking the blue elixir, but the amount of time that you save due to not getting hit by these dogs makes up for it almost all the time. Sometimes you can get lucky without a blue elixir and they don't touch you. You don't even have to move, but that's so rare, you're better off just using it. Hey Zeus, do you have any tips on how to kill the shadows of Yarnum? Yes. With a saw cleaver, R1, L1, transform back. R1, L1, transform back. Only attack them when you're at full stamina. And if you ever see one of them spooling up one of their fire attacks, or if you see one of them running towards you, don't do the second attack. Just back away and get out of there. One of the key 
problems that a lot of people have with the Shadows of Yharnam is they're just, quite frankly, too aggressive. Their counter hit damage is insane. They have the ability to combo you in, in ways that you never thought imaginable. They will do that consistently. So if you limit yourself to just those two attacks, be very regimented, very disciplined, the fight will go better your way. Whoa, the witch trying to explode on us. And she explodes on us. There we go. Hey, you can't win them all, man. You can't win them all. Where is she now? Where is she? Lady. There's the lady. Oh, we got the plunge attack, though. Nice. Going for all this extra damage. We were able to stagger her after the plunge as well. That's pretty rare. My fire paper has run out. No matter, though. I can see the other witch across the room. It's that invisible bell-looking lady. We got three attacks in. 1778 on the damage. We're going to try to kill the second witch before the, the other one reappears. It's doubtful that we'll actually get it, though. The other witch will probably spawn right back in right at the end or towards halfway and then we'll have to do a little bit more damage on her because you as you can see the damage output is is a little bit lacking against the witch of hemwick but that's actually really good because i think this is a cool mechanic fight it at least has its own flair and if you haven't seen the randomizers yet the randomizers of this of this fight are actually insane they're insane because in the randomizer in bloodborne enemies take on the characteristics of the, of the fights. So you'll get two different bosses in this room that will be semi-invisible until you're close to them. So I've had like Gascoigne and, and Bloodletting Beast in here or Ludwig and someone else. I forget who. But it, it gets crazy real quick. And you can't see them until you're close to them exactly like how the witch's fight is. Ooh, she almost got me there. She almost got me there. Okay, second time killing the first witch. Hopefully we get to the other one in time. Although I'm not seeing where she is. There she is. Quick dodge away. I'll use the bone just in case I need it. Now we're a smoky boy. I can't see her. I hope the other one doesn't come back. It's not. As long as we don't get spammed here, we are fine. First try, I'll take it. I'm just going to go down here. This is usually where the rune workshop tool is, but since we already have that, we're going to get a kin cold blood. And the only reason I get these is just for a hoarder's joy. Just for a hoarder's joy. I like having as much of this as possible. Someone still enjoying this game. Lots of love thanks. from Brazil. Aw, oh, thanks so much for the 100 bits. I love this game. It's by far my favorite game. No other game even really comes close. I love playing this game. Wait, can I have the randomizer? You need to jailbreak your PS4. So I use System Software 5.05, but there is a jailbreak available for System Software 6.72. If you've updated your PS4, you can't do that, and you can't downgrade, so you most likely have to buy a specific PS4 to play the randomizer. Liam with the brand new KO Ken times five gifted subscription, hitting me with a sub cannon straight to the solar plexus. Thank you so much, Liam. What are you doing, brother? Thank you so much, man. Drum bum, good morning. I figure we'll go to Parl now. Schmacky do, you're new here. Have a great stream. Thanks for watching, dude. Parl is usually pretty tough. I don't remember how he fares against the Beast Claw, though. You know what? We'll just take the grab. This is incredibly slow, but we don't often get to see it. In speedruns, I'm, I'm used to avoiding this because I'm dead. But, but look, look what this guy does. He choke slams you. 
Then he brings you up, and then he just drops you. So you can see how long that takes. He can just punch your lights out and kill you immediately. So you, you definitely want to avoid that attack on a speed run. I'm doing it with the brand new subscription. Welcome in. Thanks for that brand new sub, dude. You've never seen that before? Yeah, I usually don't show that off. It is, it is more of a rare attack. And it's an attack that, honestly, like, it's not that difficult to avoid either. So a lot of people might just, you know, dodge away from it and never get grabbed by it. But on this channel, we have deaths for entertainment purposes. So I make sure to die in a variety of ways just to entertain you guys. I almost died right there. That guy tried falcon punching me. Got hooked in with hijinks with my favorite game. Zeus has some serious skill. They don't call me the blood god for nothing. All right, let's see if we can get a stagger on the opening limb. We couldn't, no big deal. We did get one on that limb, though. Oh, just missed. Just missed. Missed again. Okay. I'm going to wrap around here. Try to hit his head a couple times. Let's see what we have. Let's see what we have. Let's go for a jump. Oh, he knew what I was going to do. Let's go for a jump now. <laughs> a little, a little too uh, far away. We hit it that time, though. Damn, the swipes, the swipes. I don't know where I am. I don't know where I am. Oh, I'm by his booty. Let's heal up real quick. Nice move. Going for the head shots. I want to hit that head stagger, dude. I want to hit that head stagger. Heal action. Old Hunter's Bone. Damn, that's a quick attack, man. That's a quick attack. That's a jump. Very dangerous. Let's wrap around. I just noticed my fire paper is out. So we'll re-equip it. Get the bone back on. There's the facial that I want to give him. Wait, that doesn't sound right. It sounds perfect. Don't listen to anyone. Double pump. Hit some leg shots. Roll under that leg. Keep under the legs. And here we go. We kill him with the crotch shots. Kill him with the crotch shots. Easy. Easy. First try every boss so far. You love Dark Beast OST? It's a good one, man. The music in Bloodborne fits, fits the fights really well. You always need a few minutes before you get the bone back on. It sucks, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, where are we going now? I didn't get the Forbidden Woods Lamp, did I? No, I did not. So let's go do that. Let's go do that. Is there any cool dialogue that's exclusive to you being transformed like you are? I don't think that there's... Is Does anybody know? I don't know if there's beast dialogue. There's cause parasite dialogue with the milkweed rune. But I don't think I've come across any beast beast embrace dialogue now that I'm thinking about it. I'm assuming the hands feeling a little bit better today. Yeah, a little bit. I'm only going to do this one run though. Then we'll switch to DBD. I don't want I don't want to It is bothering me a little bit, but I want to get the strength back. I'm trying to stretch it out on on these runs like here. Not keep my hand in a cramped position on the controller because I, you know I've been playing too much. I will take a little bit of a gander around this entire uh, courtyard here just to pick up this madman's knowledge. I want as much insight as possible just so I can buy more chalice materials just so I can hoard them. I'm serious, the only reason I want any of this stuff is so I can have everything fully stocked and loaded. It would be cool if there was unique dialogue. It would be cool. 
I don't think there is, though, with a Beast Embrace rune. I could be wrong, though. I know that there is with the Milkweed rune. If you go into the Fishing Hamlet and you talk to the Summoner right at the start there, he will give you some extra awesome dialogue. Now watch this. This is going to be awesome. Just jump off. Bam! No fall damage. How sick is that? It's so good. It's so damn good. I am noticing that I didn't pick up my, my blood echoes. Should I go get them? Eh, it's not that necessary. We'll go through the woods here real quick. We'll open up the shortcut for later. Might as well just do that right now. It'll also allow me to get the Canehurst summons early. And we can go there at our leisure. If we so decide. Is your Dark Souls 3 playthrough available anywhere to watch? You know what? We haven't played Dark Souls 3 or Demon Souls or Sekiro in a while. We, we got to get into that. It has been a little while since we played any of the other From Software games. I was actually thinking about playing Demon Souls really soon. I cannot wait for the Demon Souls remake. Oh, give it to me, man. Give it to me. As soon as this hands better, we'll do another one of those uh, Souls marathons or the Miyazaki marathons where we play Demon Souls, Dark Souls, Bloodborne, Sekiro, all four games that Miyazaki has solo directed in the in the Soul series back to back to back to back. Those are always fun when we do them. Odilero with the subscription, the brand new subscription. Welcome in. Thanks so much, dude. Look at these ladders. Look at these ladders. Does anyone else have Verizon and their 4G isn't working? I can't get my Samsung to get onto their network. Uh, you, might, you might misunderstand. Uh, my Twitch stream is actually not Verizon help desk. It's, it's not. We don't work or we're not associated with Verizon in any way. I saw some GDQ videos of you, and this is my first time catching you live. Well, thanks for watching, man. Sir, this is a Wendy's. <laughs> Hold on. I'm getting hot and bothered here. Time to turn on all my fans. You can't get 5G on your 5G-ready phone? Really? What's the purpose of having a 5G phone, then? Is 5G, like, up and running, or is it still, like, sort of, like, beta testing? Towers are slowly going up in major cities. I wonder if it's in New Jersey yet. I wonder. It's up in big cities. Yeah, New Jersey's not exactly... It doesn't exactly have a big city anywhere. It's got some small cities sp spread throughout, but not really any super big ones. I wonder if it's up. There are tons of cell, cell towers in New Jersey, though. I think there's one every, like, six feet. Hey, Oni Ramen. How's it going, dude? You scoff at the league? Oh! He called me a wench! Well, Valter wins this battle, huh? Valter wins this battle. First death of the day. I, tr I tried killing Valter down the elevator shaft, but he got me instead. He got me instead. I have issues with that plunge hitbox, by the way. It didn't look like he hit me. I would like to send that video to Miyazaki for review. I would like my blood echoes back, please. I feel cheated. I feel scammed.
So we'll just beat him the normal way. R1 spam. Oh no, I'm dead. It's fine. Whew. I saved myself. Wait, I was gonna come back up and fight you. He's dumb. He doesn't know anything. He's dumb. I mean, he is wearing a bucket for a helmet, so let, let's be real. He doesn't have the, the highest intelligence. Popcorn is an awesome snack. Dude, popcorn is super cheap, too. I don't even buy, like, bagged popcorn. Oh, I, I, don't, I, I don't need that. Bagged popcorn is super expensive. I just buy a bag of, like, the kernels. Put a thin layer of oil in a pan. Turn it up high. Let it get a little hot. Put a, a single layer of kernels in the bottom of the pan. Cover it. Bam, bam, bam. Thank you. We have popcorn ready to go in a minute or two. A whole bag of popcorn costs like three bucks. But then the bat, like the microwavable popcorn costs like five dollars for... I want to say like a hundredth of the amount of popcorn and I don't think I'm even exaggerating. Damn, that's smart. You have an air popper for popcorn kernels? That sounds fancy. I just use like a normal saucepan. All right, fire paper, bone it. Let's do this. These guys can kill me real quick. The double swipe on that one though. Wait for him to go and let's jump up. Ooh, nice. Flamethrower boy. Hit me with his balls. He hit me with his flame balls. Quick heals. Let's go under. You know what? I'm going to use blood bullets. A heal action. Bone it. Wait for the second one. And then hit him where it hurts. They can't touch this, man. I'm too quick. I'm too sly. Dude, how sick is the old hunter's bone? It's so good, man. It's so good. Got to use it again, though. It doesn't last very long. You got to be careful. I just realized I took a hit. I'm not playing. I'm not playing around. I'm dead. Oh, my God. I'm so, so, so lucky to have gotten away from that. All right, we're playing around, man. I was playing in the beginning. The mood all changed. I've been chewed up and spit out and booed off stage. Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. No, don't roast me. Don't roast me. I'm a nice boy. Roll through, roll through. Hit the heal action. Hit the bone up. Damn, they tried getting me good right there. Oh, dude, my attack, luckily enough, just carried me over. Bone through it. Bone under it. Easy victories. Oh, he just missed me. Imagine if he had killed me right at the end there. That would have been tragic. That would have been tragic. <sighs> Old Bay popcorn is the way. I've never had Old Bay on my popcorn before. I don't know if I'd like it. Maybe I would. Excuse me, Mr. Insect. Let's go back real quick. Need some more blood vials. Need some more quicksilver bullets. Do sound. How's it going, dude? So... 
Oh, I didn't get the tonsil stone from the Forbidden Woods. I forgot to. So we'll have to go to Amygdala the normal way. No big deal. You don't like sweet popcorn much? I like, I like caramel popcorn. I like the white cheddar popcorn. I like normal popcorn, just plain with salt. I like popcorn with clarified butter. That's delicious as well. Are there any other, like the old, I've never heard of someone putting Old Bay on popcorn. Are there any other types of popcorn? That's like the big three. That's the big three right there. Oregano on popcorn? I don't know about that one. Buffalo wing sauce? But if it, how how is it buffalo wing sauce if you put it on popcorn? Isn't it buffalo popcorn sauce? Jalapeno cheddar on popcorn? You guys are crazy. You guys are too crazy. I, I can't handle your culinary taste here. Wow. <laughs> Call beyond. She tried getting me right there. Hot sauce is good on popcorn. Wouldn't it get all soggy though? I feel like you're eating so soggy popcorn. Ranch on popcorn, get out of here. I, I, okay, I no longer can take any of you. I can't do it. Ooh, that was close. Oh, did I go? I went the wrong way. You know, let's take this stuff off. I need to get more fire paper. Need to get more fire paper. Double roll away, double roll away. I triple rolled, I lied to you. Who don't want to get that explo in there. Okay, for this attack, we can just go right up to the Patooter. Back away, back away, back away. Quick bone. We'll probably need another bone by the time we get there. What's the bone last, like 12 seconds or something ridiculous? The swipe attack is sick. I haven't used that yet, though. Let's use it again. Nice. Yep, the bone's gone. Quick heal action here. Not going in for that. No way. I know better. Dude, look at how many spiders there are. It's insane. Okay, be risky. Get some rally back. I was risky. It was worth it. One more bone. Okay. He's going up. Dude, there's so many spiders. I haven't killed a single one. Yo, he did the she did the meteor attack right into the explos. Vomit through Rom. You never want to see it. One last bone, one last under swipe. Not as much damage as I thought I would have. She's getting crowded. She's getting crowded. First try, though. Didn't even need to kill a spider. Now, where's the princess? Principesa! It lasts 20 seconds? Thanks. 20 seconds. Ranch on popcorn is just disturbing. <laughs> Hey, Fax, how's it going, man? They probably have meds that help if the bone only lasts 20 seconds. Moral of the story, a good bone always finishes her off. You guys are riled up in Randy today, aren't you? You're riled up and randy. I understand. I understand. Kamikaze with the subscription. 
the brand new subscription. Welcome in. Thanks so much, Kamikaze. It's the beard. The beard always gets you going. I, un I understand. I get it. I'm not, I'm not judging. I'm not blaming. I know how this works. Oh, since I'm slow on fire paper here. Oh, never mind. I have bolt paper that I could use. I have the bolts. We don't need them right now, though. I got to go back to the dream anyway. I only have um, one of these Quicksilver bullets. Only has one. Is, there's an item around here, though. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's warp back real quick. It's more the hair and the beard combo. Cinnamon sugar on popcorn actually doesn't sound too bad. I don't know, man. Cinnamon sugar on popcorn. I don't know if I'd like that. I don't know. But who knows? I'd try it if you gave it to me. I would try it. Just give me butter and leave me alone. Butter's that good stuff, man. It's that... If you... Oh, kettle corn's good. I do like kettle corn. I forgot about kettle corn. Kettle corn's made with, with a bit of sugar, right? If I'm not mistaken. You want some? Easy. Right through the fence, down the other side. And dude, no fall damage. It's just so good. It's just so good. Who needs fall damage? Picking up the chunks just because I can. We've already killed Parl. Don't need to go to him, so we'll just go and head straight towards the One Reborn. Steak on popcorn is the only way I eat popcorn. Imagine going to the movies and you go to the corner just to put ranch on your popcorn. I can't. And I don't want to imagine. I don't want to imagine it ever. No thank you. Ranch on popcorn is not something I need. Same with ranch on pizza. Totally, it's, it's basically gratuitous violence as far as I'm concerned. It's unnecessary. Please don't kill me. All right. I'm going to try to kill him without killing the Bell Maidens. I don't know what the damage output on New Game Plus 6 is going to be. Okay, we got a stagger. There's a fireball coming in. I sensed the fireball. I sensed it. No big deal. We have full beast meter already. We're getting the staggers we want. Bro, I'm destroying. I'm destroying. That's some serious damage, man. Who needs to kill the Bell Maidens when you're OP as hell? I love it. That's a lot of damage, Zeus. That's a lot of damage. Jesus wrecked. <laughs> Forget what I said about him being your nemesis? Oh, he still is. Trust me. Just some weapons just destroy him. Like the Whirligig Saw. Use a Whirligig Saw against him and you're going to have a great time. An absolute great time. We can go fight Amygdala first. And along the way, we can pick up some red jelly. <laughs> Out of my way. 
Why'd you make fun of my accent? I didn't make fun of your accent. I was impersonating you with respect. I would like to order the popcorn al pastor. What does al pastor mean? Zon BG. Just got my That's not your name. Yesterday and my face hurts. I just called you Zom GB when you're Zom B pig. I'm I'm dumb. Dude, wisdom teeth, I remember when I got those out when I was young. And it was it was a rough day or two. The worst part for me was they left holes in the back of my mouth and food would get stuck in them. That was the worst part. I wanted to basically cut my head off at some point. We got over it, though. Outside of a randomizer, have you ever done a run where you switch weapons? Yes, I've done this run, and I'm going to do it again uh, certain, uh, shortly. Basically, um, you guys will get to make me switch weapons. I'll, we'll just go the, the poison way. So what I do with this run is... With a sub or with a bits, you pick a weapon, and as soon as you sub or give me bits, I switch to the weapon that you pick. So the, the run gets super chaotic. Super chaotic. And I have to switch multiple times during fights. So there's a lot of, like, going into, like, if I'm fighting, going into the menu, switching to, like, the blood letter, then hitting him a few times, then going into the menu, switching back to the beast claw... Stuff like that. So it's actually a pretty difficult run, and we get to use every single weapon on or in the game. Oh, the frenzy. You're going to make yourself a cappuccino? Dude, I haven't had a cappuccino in a long time. In a long, long time. Al Pastor is a way of cooking pork. You usually have it on tacos. Okay, okay. I see what you did there. Sounds fun as hell to watch. Yeah, it's super fun, man. And, it, and like I said, it's actually pretty difficult. Ugh. Oh, lasers. Okay, I just missed all of those. Her face goo. Her face goo. Go under. Where's my bone at? Where's my bone at? Damn, she's trying to hit me. How dare this boss try to hit me? Not as much damage as I was expecting. Amygdala is resistant to beasthood, I guess. The arm's gonna come down here. We'll spam it a little bit. Okay, if we can hit it. Dude, three whiffs in a row. It's okay. We'll get some headshots here. Go over to the hand. Spam the hand. Hit one more overhead. One more overhead. Thank you. Thank you. Fire paper. Old hunter's bone. Wait for the move. Go under. Hit her with the running swipe. That's the backhand. She hit me with her second attack. I might be able to get one hit on the head just late enough. I wanted to heal first. She's going to go down, and I'm going to go for the head. Hopefully, we get the head stagger. We did. One attack, and then the visceral. Maximum damage here. Chin shot. We missed the chin shot. We missed the hand shots. <laughs> Use the bone. Go for the swipe. And now we go under the crotch. Crotch shot. She jumps up. We go down. Hit her in the head. We miss the head. Dude, we're missing a lot. We don't miss our crotch shots, though. You have to hit her directly in the center of the crotch. You see how it didn't get damaged there? You see how it didn't get damaged there? You got to be in the center. I miss I'm missing crotch shots, man. There's the crotch shot. Crotch to the head. Crotched. Oh, I staggered her in the crotch. Whoa. Hold on. Heal action. Heal action. She goes up. I go over. Headshot. No, her head is in the column. Her head is in the column. But that one will take care of business. I love the death animations in this game. Amygdala is so sick. Already back over a million blood echoes. Not like we need them. 
Not like we need them. Jess Lepley with 100 bits. Thank you so much. Good morning, chat, and hey, Zeus. Glad I managed to catch the Bloodborne part of the stream before you switch to DVD. Even though I'm still going to watch you play both games. Welcome in, man. Welcome in. Amygdala is dead, so we'll head to Mensis. Vincent Morelli, it's going great, dude. I like how you explain your thought process for these bosses. Yeah, I like giving you guys some commentary instead of, you know, I could go in silently and just let you guys appreciate the gameplay. Uh, because the gameplay is, you know, it's fun to watch this game. But I figure I'd give you a little bit of an insight into what I'm thinking about. And also, I feel like it makes it more entertaining as well. Which bosses are left? Uh, Celestial Emissary, Ebrietis, we have Ligarius. Hello from France. Thanks for the 100 bits, dude. Thanks so much. We also have all the DLC bosses, and we have... Oh, we have Cleric Beast. I haven't, I haven't killed Cleric Beast yet. Remind me. I might, I might be liable to forget that. Beast versus Beast. Who will win? The R1 spammer always wins. Oh god, not the parasites. I should have killed it with fire. Oh wow, that wasn't a lot of damage. <laughs> that wasn't a lot of damage. There we go. Pick up some chunks. Pick up the frenzied blood. I will get this lamp. There's no reason to go back to the dream though. We'll just scooch on out. I'll, I'm going to use a blue elixir here though. We'll pick up these and head on through. Have you ever done a run with a limited amount of blood vials? Ah, uh, yes. I've done a run where I haven't healed. Uh, I didn't heal the entire run. I remember doing that. I, I did a run with zero bl using no blood. For all the bosses. Maybe we could do that again. That w it wasn't actually as hard as I thought it was going to be. I did die a couple times, but I, I can beat most of the bosses without getting hit. I mean, I did do the world's first no-hit Bloodborne run, so I, sh I should be able to do no healing, right? <laughs> hey, Calfrey, how's it going, dude? I mean, once you've done no hit, no healing is child's play. Exactly, Banjok. I was expect because no hit is not no healing, right? But you know, if you just die on a no, if you just get hit in a no hit run, it doesn't really matter, right? You just reset and do it again. And if, then if you get hit in a no healing run, it doesn't really matter either, because all you have to do is like warp back to the start of the level, right? So they're, they're not exactly super difficult. The no healing, I mean. The no healing. Fun fact, Zeus only gets hit or dies for content. Exactly. We have deaths for entertainment purposes. DFAP. I purposely die because I don't, I don't die naturally in this game. I purposely die 100% for entertainment for you guys. Also, it's a bit of padding for the run. You know... It, what fun is it to go through the game and kill everything super quick, no dying, ever? You know, people just got bored of it, right? You get used to the greatness of the Blood God. So I came up with deaths for entertainment purposes to, to, to keep things interesting. Hey, Stay GB, good morning. How about no healing and no pungent blood cocktail? I don't use pungents anymore, man. I used to use them for Blood Star Beast, but I don't even use them for her anymore. Let's draw him into the vestibule here. Let's take care of this ethereal walker. That one doesn't seem like he's coming. I will full heal just in case. This guy's a big time spammer. Wow, that was quick. He almost got me there.
Use your bones, use your bones. Best bones in the business. Nice, right to the side, he didn't even expect it. We zoom in on him, we zoom in on him. Can we hit the jump? Of course we can hit the jump. Here it comes, here it comes. Oh, majestic. Dan Aseed with the four month Twitch Prime resubscription. This channel cost me some money by having me hyped on DBD. Might as well throw him in a sub. Thanks so much, dude. Hope you enjoy DBD. GG Biscuits as well with the two month back to back resubscription. Thanks, Biscuits. Grant us fries. Grant us fries. I want some french fries, bro. French fries for breakfast. Who's in? Who's with me? Who is with me? Can we get a plunge here? I don't know if we can. Of course we can. What? Oh, God. He just scooched on by. Oh, no. He just scooched on by. I wasn't expecting that. Ooh, I haven't had onion rings in a while. Yo, I'll have those too. I'll have those too. Can we get the plunge here? Right on top. No fall damage either. Scooch. Oh, he's trying to punch me. That's illegal. That's assault and batterized. My bone is out. My bone is out. He's going for the punches. My bone is out. Use the bone. We just boned Mikalash. What? No, no, no. Oh my God. He boned me right back. I boned him and he noodle boned me. Wait a second. A call beyond lock on. Dash forward. Hit him with the... No. 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 No, you see this? This is all on purpose, guys. This is all on purpose just for your entertainment. I would never get hit with any of this. We're just letting him spam a call beyond to show you my mastery. To show... Oh, he's scratching his booty. What's in your pocket, Mikalash? What's in your pocket? I can scream too. That scream's so good. He has a bone in his pocket. How do I only have 830 blood echoes on your Twitch channel? You feel poor? You gotta watch more, man. You got I'm I'm actually disappointed at how little you are watching my Twitch channel. We need to get those blood echoes up. What are you doing? Let's go get the blood rock real real quick. Oh, we can also get these uh these chunks right around here. And we'll get the living string. I I love going to kill that brain. Might as well. Might as well. Let's use uh blue elixirs and sedatives just in case. Actually, can I use blue elixir and sedative together? I forget. Oh, well, we'll try it out. We'll blue it here. Wrap around. Oh my god. Okay, I forgot that Frenzy is actually ridiculous. I can't even sedative in time. We just gotta, we just gotta power through it, man. I can't even use my sedatives in time. You see, you see, you see how much friends, little Frenzy resist I have? Jesus. Stop it, dudes. Stop it. Leave me alone. Oh, man. The sedatives did nothing. I couldn't, e I couldn't even use it in time. My frenzy resist is so damn low. Part of the problem is my headpiece is actually the Mensis Cage, which is super, super... Uh, it, it hits hard with frenzy, I should say. Pick up some great one's wisdom. We want all this good stuff. 
There's a madman's knowledge down here we can pick up too. Bam. I love how that guy was the lowly one of the group. He wasn't close enough to the brain, so he got madman's knowledge, and everyone else got a great one's wisdom. <laughs> what a loser. There's my blood rock. Can I show my stats? 99 everything, dude. Bob and weave. Bam. You should spend some insight to raise beasthood and frenzy resistance. Uh, my beasthood is fine. I, I, I will spend my insight, but it's okay. I, I don't really need any more damage. And I'm not really going to come across frenzy too much anymore. It's fine how it is. But I will be spending it all. I like keeping it like above 50 so, I, so we can see all the cool stuff in the game. Get all the cool music. So when we get it to 99, we'll definitely spend it. That's a lot of stamina. What about cool music? The, the, the song in the hunter's dream changes. If you have more insight. If you've never noticed it before. Bam! New game seven, new, new game six. Max new game in Bloodborne is six. But this is like new game 60 or 100 or 5,000, who knows. Let's just go with 5,000. This is new game plus 5,000. You know what? We, we'll do wet nurse later. We'll do wet nurse later. Let's go and do the other stuff. I'll show you guys the, the, the dialogue you get when you kill Maria. And when you kill Orphan of Cause, just for, just for some, uh, just for some niceness. A hey, Basic Rex, good morning. Um, what do I need now? We can go to the Upper Cathedral Ward. Yes, do Maria. I want to watch. Send me up. Zeus, you managed to get me in a PC DVD and hell do I suck at that game? What did I say, Adagis? When you first start playing DVD, it's gonna take you a long, long time. Even to get decent at it, man. It's it's a tough one. But it's fun, isn't it? Oh, I just got trolled. I just got trolled. Whoa, dude, dude, what item is around here? There is no item around here. It's a, it's a circle. I remember the items on the lower floor. Just watch the end of your first no hit run. Your celebration is so goofy and great. <laughs> it's dead. <laughs> Here's the item. What is this? Oh, that is thick cold blood. Nice. Don't do it, Grandpa. Don't do it, Grandpa. Falcon pa Oh, 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 oh. I'm fine. I'm fine. I, I, dude, I, I hit the wrong button. I hit the wrong button. Ugh. They were exceptionally angry with me for some reason. Free blue elixir, why not? You enjoy the game so much, you're on your fourth playthrough? And still clear all the areas and pick up everything? Yeah, man, it's just so good. 
I mean, look at it. It's just, it's just a gorgeous game. It was made over five years ago. I mean, look at this place. It's, it's just, ah. 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 Bloodborne, you're so fine. You're so fine, I'll make you mine. Is there an item down there? I don't see it. Oh, nice. Got him good. Got him good. Here you go, brain sucker. Can I kill it? I need him. Oh, we can kill it. Dude, orphanage key skip with a beast claw. Am I the only one who thinks that his character looks like the Wraith from DBD? I, you know what? I could see why you, you, you see that. They, they do share some similarities. Oh, I don't need this badge. What am I doing? I'm pretty sure I just get a Bolt Hunter's Mark. Yeah, I've already gotten that badge. Whoa! Do I have total... Yeah, I already have max Ritual Bloods. Five, so I don't need any more. Can't pick up any of them. Let's open up this gate here. I'll pick up this Frenzied Cold Blood. Seven? No, that's a nine. Frenzied Cold Blood level nine. Will Bloodborne ever come to PC? No. Hey, Bloodborne, you're so fine, you're so fine, you blow my mind. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking of. No fall damage. We'll bone it up. Let's see what we have here. Ooh, triple hits for the kills, huh? Gain some beasthood here. Can we get can we get the booty slap? Oh, we just missed the booty slap, man. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's get out of here. No, I'm being surrounded. Oh, that was close. I was surrounded. Let's bone it up. I could die. I could die. That was I think the bone the the old hunter's bone actually saved me right there. I think it did. Jump through. Bloodborne on PC and PC... Dude, it's been rumored for five years. I, I actually can't stand hearing about it. Every single day, I have to talk about it. Every single day, Bloodborne has been coming to PC. It's, it's not happening. It's nothing but people who have clickbaited you into clicking on their articles so they get ad revenue. It's nothing more than that. 100%. Will Demon Souls come to PS4? I don't believe so. I think it said PS5 exclusive in the trailer that I'm remembering. Oh, wait, I wasn't under that noodle? Are you kidding me? I'm pretty sure I was under that noodle. I'm pretty sure I rolled that. What? I'm not even near her head. Um, I don't know what's happening. I have no idea what's happening. I might actually die here. Jesus. I'm trying to stagger these noodles. Her noodles are refusing to... What is going on? I don't... Dude, this is so weird. I can't get under her noodles. Th there's something wrong with this fight. I'm not, I'm not even making it up. There's actually something wrong with the fight. <laughs> I could... I missed everything there. I missed everything. Everything.
what happened there? I have no idea, man. I didn't hit one iframe. Not one. I have no idea what happened. And I also hit her tentacles about 11 times. And I didn't get a stagger either. Which is really rare. Really, really rare. Let's try again. Hey, an iframe worked. Hey, a second one worked. Look, oh, and a stagger? What is this? It's like a it's like a completely different boss. She's flying up. Chin shot. We missed the chin shot. But look, another iframe, dude. This is weird. And a head stagger? What is this? Give me that face. Give me that face. Let's go in for the jump. What's a hitbox? <laughs> What's a hitbox? Oh, but look at all the blood, man. Look at all the blood. So good. So good. The first death was for entertainment purposes. You caught me. You caught me. So let's go to Central Yarnum. We'll go fight Cleric Beast and then we'll warp back and we will... We'll go to the Forbidden Woods. We'll get the Umbilical Cord so we can fight Moon Presence and we'll get the Cane Hurst Summons as well. Who needs hitboxes when you have blood? Exactly. Okay, let's use the bullets here and then rally back some health. We didn't rally back as much as I wanted. We still It still required us to use a blood vial. No big deal. Wait, Bloodborne has blood in it? Imagine if there was a setting in Bloodborne to turn the blood off, like in Dark Souls. Orphe! With the subscription! The brand new subscription. Welcome in. Thanks so much, Orphe. It would just be born. Wait a second. Is someone cleaning outside in my apartment? Dude, it's been months since someone they sent someone to clean the out the hallway in my apartment complex. Literally months. It's it got so like dank and dirty out there. I'm actually impressed. Oh, I, I need the bowl paper. I don't I don't have any fire paper anymore. Oh, he tagged me. I was a little too aggressive. No big deal. He's going for the grab. I'm getting out of there. Not getting hit with that. Booty slap. Booty slap. Booty slap. Crotch shot. Dude, staggered out the wazoo. He's going for the he's going for the charge. I'm going for the jump. Jumped into crotch. I just jumped on his crotch, dude. I just jumped on his crotch. Booty slap. Booty slap. Let's bone it. Ah, the bone was too early. The bone was too early. I gotta dodge it. Ooh, perfect iframes to save the game. We can roll under that. Wait a second. I can't get this visceral, can I? Ah, oh, the game cheated me, man. Cheating game. I can scream too. His scream's better than mine, though. You know what? Let's just double pump this. 
Double pump it and hit him with the bone. He's gonna pull the ground up. I'm gonna pull it through. Dodge, dodge. I'm like dust in the wind. Dust in the wind. Nice. Easy boss. Easy life. So let's just warp back real quick. And we'll go get the Kane Hurst summons and the cord. Zeus is the crotch jumping, crotch licking, crotch stumping blood god of Bloodborne. You tell him. You spread word of my ways. No fall damage, please. Just missed the Goomba stomp. You got lucky. You got lucky. This is why I opened that gate earlier. Allows us just to quickly, quickly bypass over here. There's a brain sucker though. Let's kill it. Oh no! Oh! Oh, he almost got me. Oh! I missed! That was close. That was close as hell. Shingo Bingo, good to see you, man. I'm doing all right today. How about you? Zeus, I remember you saying on a YouTube video that you enjoy RDR. Do you have a playlist on it? No, I played it mostly offline. Uh, Red Dead Redemption 2, anyway. I didn't really like Red Dead Redemption. John Marston... John Marston didn't really do it for me. But Arthur Morgan and everything that Red Dead Redemption had to offer was amazing. RDR 2 is probably my second favorite game behind Bloodborne. Love Red Dead Redemption. I kind of want to do another playthrough offline again to go through it. You hate those guys so damn much. There's two enemies in Bloodborne that people seem to hate more than most. Winter Lanterns and Brain Suckers. All right, time to jump on that booty. Okay. I just wanted to make sure I actually picked up the umbilical cord. Red Dead Redemption 2 is also my two favorite after Bloodborne. RDR 2 is so boring to me. I feel bad for you. I feel bad for you. Dogs, you hate all the dogs. <laughs> you don't mind Winter Lanterns that much, but Brain Suckers can screw right off. I feel ya. I feel ya. Um, where are we going? Which is abode? We can go ride the, uh, the school bus? RDR2 does get boring around the Guarma part. Boring is such a bad criticism of art, man. Because boring is just... You're just saying... When you say something's boring, you just say, you're just saying, I don't have the attention span for this. As all, it's, such, it's such a bad criticism. I, I don't accept that as criticism. That's just personal taste. That's just, that, you're just saying, I don't like it. Which is fine. Which is fine. But you saying it boring, it's boring doesn't mean it's true. Like, you just don't like it. That's it. Such a fine thing to do. 
So strap your bones right to the seat. Come on in and don't be shy. Come on. Just to make your day complete. You might get baked into a pie. All the magic scuba. scuba. Step inside, it's a wild ride. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed your ride on the Magic School Bus today. Oh, and no one paid for their tickets either. Not one ticket. Again. More free rides for you jabronis. It never gets old? Yeah. F free tickets on a school bus. I'm, I'm sure it never gets old. Now, you know, if I die here, I would never die here. I would never die. Yo, happy fuzz for the 100 bits with the retroactive ticket. I appreciate that. One person paid for a ticket retroactively. <laughs> that just made your morning. Dude, the Magic School Bus is a stream staple here. He paid for my ticket. He did not. You're a stowaway. What can I say? I'm a freeloader. God damn it. Kamikaze. With the subscription. The brand new KO Ken times five gifted subscription. Hitting me with a sub cannon straight to the solar plexus. Thank you so much for those five gifted subs, you legend. I got that bum's ticket. Uncle Pawn with the ticket. Oh! No! Don't kill me! Put me down! Put me down! Ugh! I so very rarely get grabbed by that guy. He was hugging me. Caroline Daz with the hundred Sorry bits. For not paying for the ticket, just found my wallet. I, it's acceptable. It's acceptable. Thank you for paying for your ticket finally. Hugs for days. I got to know you a little ago and got hooked on your lore run. You got yourself a fan right here. Keep the good hunt. Oh, thanks so much, man. He just missed you? Yeah. I have that effect on gargoyles. That thing's infinitely creepier than I realized before. <laughs> That's Bloodborne for you. You, just, you eventually just get so used to everything being so horrific, you stop really looking at it. And then when you finally get a good glimpse, it's eye-opening, to say the least. I don't like the way she was looking at me. I'd say people who are subbed have a bus pass. Uh, that's not how it works. No. No. <laughs> you become desensitized? Exactly. Exactly. What about a rapier run? That's one of the weapons that I use the least. What's it called? The Writer Palash? I don't normally use that weapon too much. Every once in a while, though. All right, we're gonna lock on to him, hit him with the swipe. Uh, never mind. I, w I was a faint attack. It was a faint attack. He tried hitting me, but I hit him first. Swipe under. Booty slap, back away. Let's bone it up. 
We were under the Executioner's magic right there, thankfully. Whoa, he got me there. Go for the booty slap. We hit him right in the crack. I will heal action here. I will bone it. Wait for that. Hit him with another booty slap. Back to back in the crack. Jump on him. Oh, baby. Double jump. Oh, he jumps. I jump back. Can I get him? Oh, man. I want to kill him with something cool here. I want to kill him with the jump. We killed the sword with the jump. Does that count? Yo, dude. It's a jump fest. Jump around. Jump, jump, jump around. I'm killing him with the jump, man. I don't care about anything. He's dying with the jump. Watch this. Ready? That's not the jump. Stop jumping. I'm the one who does the jump. I'm the one. Jump on him. There it is. It took a while, but we got him. We got him. Have you ever done an amygdala and arm run? Absolutely. I will do one soon and get it on YouTube. I'm, wor I'm working through all the weapons in Bloodborne, and I'm going to put all, like, a run with every single weapon on there. So we'll do an amygdala and run soon. Look out for that. We've done all the optional stuff, right? Let's go to the Cathedral Ward. We can get into the DLC. Look at that insight, though. 69. Nice. Palo with the 100 bits. Thank you. Might as well jump. GG. Stake driver is a low-key underrated weapon. Yeah, we got to do another stake driver run too. Stake driver is awesome because like it's high risk, high reward. Getting that full charge with the explosion is just so cool, isn't it? Yo, Yerv, how's it going, man? Good to see you today. Is that the weapon where you sta stab yourself? No, that's the blood letter. The blood letter is the one where you take the mace and you pummel it through you and it comes out the other side and then you rip it out. Oh, it's so metal. It's literally the most metal thing in Bloodborne. We'll, get a blo we'll do another blood letter run and we'll get that on YouTube as well. Hope you're doing well. I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Thanks for asking, man. Or saying. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. I love it when you give dudes the pump. That's the thing about the blood letter. There's so many cool things you could do with it. So many cool attacks. You got the pump. You got the frenzy attack. You've got the uh, the transform attack through yourself. The other, the reverse transform attack, which sprays blood all over the place too. You did it, boys. You got the platinum. The queen is dead. Is the queen really dead though? Is the queen really dead? Congrats on the platinum, Nick. But let's let's just take a little bit of a gander here. Let's take a little bit of a gander. Where's where's the item? Oh, there it is. Hold on, hold on. A little bit a little bit of lore here. A sacred heirloom left by Yarnum through Marian Queen. The queen lies dead. Wait, she's dead. Okay, you're right. <laughs> her in, her consciousness isn't though. God damn it. The queen is dead. Nick was right. That was false lore for entertainment purposes, by the way. Ding dong. The queen is dead. She's in your head. She's in your head. Ding dong. The Sumerian queen is dead. <laughs> No turrets, please. No turrets, please. Let's get the blood bullets, though. Should we go and get the chunks? Should we? Should we? Of course we should. Let's just get the chunks. Swag sip it. Oh, dude. Did you see that? 
drinking the blue elixir as we're sliding down. Mm -mm -mm. That's the zoo strats right there. That's the zoo strats. Get that chunk. Get that chunk. Oh! How did he do that? Get that chunk too. No! He's got me! I'm fine. I'm fine. I can survive this. I can survive. I'm alright. I'm not alright. Every time I go into this cave, I'm like, I just want to get some extra chunks. And I ended up dying. Every single time. <laughs> the Cave of Wonders. No torch? Eh, yeah, I can see where I'm going. I, just, I don't need the torch, really. I'm not going to go back in there. I don't care about the 3 million blood echoes we just lost. They're basically worthless to me. You know what would have been a cool system in Bloodborne, now that I'm thinking about it? If you can, like, offer up, like, millions of blood echoes and get, like, a random blood gem from it. You know what I mean? I think that would have been cool. Much cooler than farming for for blood gems and the chalices anyway. I, I think that would have been better. Cause some of some of those gems in the chalices, they take forever and a day to get. And even people who are obsessed with Bloodborne like I am just absolutely refuse to, to go in and get that stuff. That would be interesting. Whoa, bobbing and weaving. Bobbing and weaving. Hit him with a swag sip. Excuse me, Mr. Ball Licker. Excuse me. This level's so damn cool. It gets me every single time. Bam! The jukes are real. Cursed ISZ, no thanks. I will go into the other cave over here. There are some blood chunks that I can get. I want them, man. I want them. I can't. I can't. The hoarder in me is, is just calling. Those chunks are calling my name. We'll also get the shortcut, too. Get that. Is there another? Is this a chunk? No, those are oil urns. Let's look at the slug lady, though. Thunk. Morning, Zeus. Up early for a stupid call at work. I actually started streaming early today. We started at 8.30. 8.30. Were you playing nonstop Bloodborne beef? What were you, oh, what were you playing nonstop before Bloodborne release? I wasn't really playing too many games, man. Uh, I was working at the time. So I really didn't have that much time to play too much. But uh, I played a ton of Demon Souls, a ton of Dark Souls. And right after Bloodborne released, I started playing a ton of H1Z1. Tried to get the second hit in there. Didn't get it, though. He goes around. I go under. Oh, I got a chin shot there. Nice. I did a little 360 on him right there. Got him to whiff. 
He's going to pound twice. I'll go under the third one and try to go for this leg over here. We got a semi-stagger. That's not good. Yeah, that was... He, he got me in the right position there. We'll double pump it. Wait for the third bite. Go through. Use our bone again. He's trying to hit me with the ectoplasm. I'm going for the sweep. Miss the sweep. Going for the chin shot. Hit the leg instead. Going for the head. Don't want to get hit with that because it probably would have one-shot me there. He goes under. I want the head, man. Two. And I died. Really? No. Nope. It happens, man. It happens. I just missed time that second that second stomp there. I think I was a little bit too early on the roll. Happens. You're excited for the Demon Souls remaster? It's actually a full-on remake. It's a full-on remake, which makes me even more excited. But yeah, I can't wait, man. I, and I hope it's I hope it's a day one PS5 release. Oh yeah, man. It's it's a full-on remake. It's actually real. It's actually really cool. You can go back in my like YouTube vods. Over two years ago, I said that I was hoping that Demon Souls would be a, a PS5 a first release, and it's looking like it might actually come true. Nice. We were able to get two quick R ones there. Another two. Oh, I got a third hit there. I'll take that one shot and get out. Quickly pick up my blood echoes, not like I need it. Watch them. That should stagger. Now we can get a lot of extra damage here. One headshot. He's going for the charge. I'm going to the right. Go for the sweep to the chin. Roll through it. Now I'm going to try to go straight ahead. He's going to jump down. Hit him in the head twice. One, two, underneath. Hit him in the head again. Yes, that's what I wanted, man. Hit, get me the face. We got the visceral. That's one of the hardest viscerals in the game to get. Boom. Use our bone. He's going to swipe. I'm going to double swipe. Let's go under. Oh, I was just a little too early. Not the second time, though. Wait for that. Wait for that. I'm double pumping it. I'm not afraid. Wow, he hit me there again. Same thing. Pump it. Wait for the swipe. Use our bolt paper. Hit him once. Hit him twice. He's going to the ground. I'm going to backpedal in. He goes in there. I'm going for the jump. And the jump right to the crotch. Hits him with a major stagger. The double swipe. He goes up. I tried iframing it, we missed it, but we're going to hit him with the booty slaps. And now we're going to play around with him. Let the music change. Let the music run. Swipe and a swipe. I could have killed him two minutes ago, but we're not doing it. We'll just dance around with him for a second here. thrust I wasn't expecting the thrust now it's time for the jump it's time for the stagger and the visceral he blocked it but he didn't block that What a great boss fight. The music's so godly, it's so good. This whole, the whole fight, the room, the cutscenes, the music, the dialogue, the post-dialogue, the weapon you get from killing him, it's all just so good, man. Playing with your food, I see. It's just something that you could do after you play this game for way too long. <laughs> 
way too long. I did have three play with your food stacks there. Do you like the PvP? Uh, the PvP needs some work just because of latency, man. I would like it, and I used to love it. But I feel like uh, From Software hasn't come up to date with a lot of its PvP stuff. Whereas other other uh, games definitely have it have it better. There's just way too much latency with a lot of the PvP. And part of that is because I feel like most of the people who play this game don't play it where I am as well. So may maybe if there were more uh, local connections, it would be a lot better. Morning, Zeus. I checked out DVD last night. Since it's free right now, I learned I'm horrible with timing skill checks. You get better at it, man. You do get better. Well, actually, most people don't. Let's, let's be real. <laughs> High level from software PvP on dedicated servers would be super interesting to watch. Exactly, dude. It would be so good. The pro what well, and I used to PvP a ton in Demon Souls and Dark Souls. And Bloodborne as well. But the truth is it gets old after a while, like when you're constantly going up against people who are hitting you from 17 feet away. It, it just it just get it just gets really old. Like the whole like prediction mindset that a lot of like souls players love i hate because where i where i thrive in these games is reaction time i i feel like i have very good reaction time but when it comes to like predicting move sets movements of enemies and and pvp i just i kind of i'm i'm admittedly i'm bored with it i'm bored with it i, I would rather be able to react like a real fight and real fights do include some prediction. Absolutely. Um, you know what? Let's just go back real quick. Because I don't have Quicksilver bullets. High level PvP in Bloodborne would last 10 seconds because of the Cursed Gems. Well, that's the thing with Bloodborne. If you get into uh, Chalices and get the really good gems, it's... It's such a different game. And there's a lot of builds where there are there are one shots or too many one shots I should say. It's it's not a balanced PVP system. Uh, I'm spamming roll there and it didn't roll. You think predicting is more skillful than reacting? Yeah, so, says someone who, who, who can't react to anything because people like me would absolutely destroy you. <laughs> There's so many people who think Souls PvP is good because you win because of lag stabbing and, and, and all that. <laughs> you wouldn't be able to face people like me. If if you if it wasn't if if you if the latency wasn't a problem, you, you wouldn't even be able to compete. And there, are, I'm sure there are like 14 year olds with lizard eyes out there who would dominate me these days because I'm I'm getting old and and crusty. What am I doing? A uh, research hall. In a game like this, reaction is everything because there are so many weapons that you just don't know what you're walking into. Exactly. Exactly. Quicksilver? I'm saying overall, predicting is more skillful than reacting? No. What you're saying is guessing is more skillful than reacting. And it's entirely wrong. It's entirely wrong. Ma making a guess is more, is more skillful than reacting. That just... It just... 100% flat out wrong. No, no, no.
I've seen enough Soulsborne PVT PVP to know best connection wins 90, 90% of the time. Best connection wins 90% of the time. Well, you know, I've seen a lot of Souls PVP and I feel the exact opposite. <laughs> I, I feel the exact opposite. Uh, for me, I, I see people with a worse connection having an advantage. If you're good enough, you don't even have to guess. Look, uh, predicting sometimes enemies and players they do they they do a lot of things over and over again. And if you fight with them for a considerable amount of time, you can learn their behavior patterns and then have have them walk into an attack of yours. That's that's a pure skill. It is a pure skill. But you also need to be able to purely react. Lagging invader comes in and hits you constantly from five feet away. That's why I don't PvP mostly. Yeah, and that's why I stopped, man. Because most of my most of my experiences were just that. I never try there's a lot of people who are like Dark Souls PvP was the best. And it's like these I really, I wholeheartedly disagree with that. I because Dark Souls PvP was just a hundred percent lag stab fishing back in the day, and then the Gold Tracer came out, and then it became R1 spam with lag stab fishing. So I, I disagree with a lot of people when it comes to Souls PvP. But I am the kind of person that wants the PvP to be better and developed. Because I think it's so underutilized, and it could be an amazing system. Yo, Subtle Hustle with the three-month Twitch Prime. Thanks so much, Subtle. I thought I would be outside of that range of the headbutt. Clearly wasn't. Did you spawn over here? You did. You did. That's gonna hit me. You know what? I can get double damage on these guys. Got a little bit of rally back. Good thing I was counting my hits, man. If he had, if I didn't, wasn't counting my hits there, that headbutt, poof, that would have hit me. That would have hit me. That is some insane magic spam. I respect it though. That's dangerous. That's gonna be dangerous. It's gonna follow me. Whoo! Ooh, that was really close. That was really close. Oh, no. Oh, Jesus. And they say reaction doesn't mean anything. Same attack at the same time, but unfortunately I can't take advantage of the double hits. But we can take advantage here. We can kill him with the jump. The ankle breaker! And we dodge the meteor at the end as well. Easy. FromSoft games have a lot of potential for good PvP, but I think their emphasis will always be single player. Yeah, that's why I want the Bloodborne MMO BR in VR on PC in 69 FPS with the Bloodborne Cart minigame. Miyazaki doesn't need to direct it. Someone else can. But I, 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 I would love it if, if, if there was a game that was focused on, like... I, I envision WoW... 
World of Warcraft, all the quests, but from software quests with the from software weapons, third person action game, MMO. That, that's that's what I want. I, I, I've said it a hundred times. I want a decade of Bloodborne content. That, that, that's my hope, my dream. But, you know, from software never do, does that. You know, they just never do that. And I understand what they want. I understand. I really like the tight focus of the Soulsborne games. PvP seems unnecessary. Well, that's you. I mean, plenty of people think that BR games are unnecessary. And, you know, there's different games for different people. I'm, you see, we're not talking about what you want right now. We're talking about what I want. So it's not unnecessary. I want it. <laughs> A Souls-based raid boss? Exactly, dude. Exactly. There's so much there's so much cool stuff you could do. Oh, trying to get me. Trying. Oh, she got me. The foul wench. Dude, she hit me on the back end there. I respect that. I respect the hell out of that. I'm dead. Let's go through. Oh, she wasn't expecting that one. She expected that, though. We gotta wait. Bone it. Wait a second. There we go. Dude, wait. I canceled her animation, but the hitbox still persisted. Did you see that? I canceled the blood. I hit her before the blood, but the hitbox came through anyway. That's fine. That's fine. We can take this. Double pump it. Wait a second. Wait. Go through. I might die. Oh, dude. Just at the last second. I'm dead. I'm kidding. No. Whoa. I, do I actually dodged a little too early there. I dodged a little too early there. Carolyn Daz with the brand new Twitch Prime subscription. Thanks so much, Carolyn. Did she rip your shirt off? Yeah, when you use either of the transformations, either Milkweed or Beast Embrace, when you die, the transformation goes away. Oh, and I'm realizing I don't have any paper here. No big deal. Dude, I got that stagger right before she clocked me in the face. Wrong attack, wrong attack, it's okay. Booty slap. Again, the uh, the old hunter's bone is a little bit quicker than I than I am anticipating, so some attacks are actually clocking me because I'm dodging too early here. Now she's in she's in her tricked mode here, which is actually pretty rough for me. Oh, got her through the jump, though. You know what? Let's not be super risky. At least she's going to second phase. We'll fully heal. Use our blood bullets. Perfect time for the old hunter's bone to come back. And rush on in. 
She's going up. I'm going over. Get a few quick hits in. We got four there. Back away. Oh, I was too late there that time. Usually I've been too early. That time, definitely too late. She's coming in. I'm going through. Through again. I thought I had the bone, but we messed it. Wrap around to the side here. Back through. Back under. Booty slap. Again, that was in another example of me being too early with my dodge. She's going to kill me here. At least she would have if I didn't dodge that. I'll go for two quick hits. I'll back away. Blood bullets. Quick heals. Pick this up. Wait for the movement. Use the bone. Speed in. Damn. Dude, she perfectly predicted exactly where I was going to go. But I'm going to perfectly predict this. One more bone. Right under the fire and the blood. Same thing. Her hitboxes are wide. They're circumventing. Oh, she hit me with the blood cannon. I respect the hell out of it. That's the parry move. Dodge through it. One more bone. One more bone. Right under the fire and the blood for the kill. Did you see how it, like, after the scream, it looked like the beast, the beast hunter was, like, looking down on her as she fell? That was sick. I love the, the way you pronounce my username. Whose hunter's bone does the old hunter bone belong to? We don't really know. It doesn't tell us. The bone of an old hunter whose name is lost. <laughs> Some people, for whatever reason, think that this is Maria's bone. Um, but it's clearly not because... It doesn't say it's Maria's bone. <laughs> the faking fox with the 32 month resubscription. Gold bludgeon with the five month resubscription. Our hero Jack with the 200 bits. Thank you so much. It's male at least. Yes, it is male as well. But it could be her bone. No. No. <laughs> What if it's from Garman's leg? Uh, listen, the, the, the item description would tell you that it's Garman's bone if it was Garman's bone. It's an unnamed lost hunter. It might even be the person who Garman replaced as the, uh, the steward of the hunter's nightmare. But it's definitely not Garman, it's definitely not Maria. Twy of Light with the two-month Twitch Prime resubscription. Thanks so much, Twy of Light. All right, so we just call... We j Oh, did I talk to the doll enough, though, for the dialogue? I don't know if I did. In the Japanese description of the item, we don't care about Japanese. English is canon in Bloodborne. The game, when it released in Japan, wasn't even available with Japanese dialogue. Hello, good I am a oh, I didn't talk to her, so we can't get the dialogue. And I'm not even kidding about that. When the game released in, J in Japan, English voice acting was the only option. There's two languages that appear in Bloodborne. One of the languages is the research hall scribble scrabble that you see here on these gravestones and the other language is English. If you go right before Hemwick, you can actually see a sign written in the sign is are the letters Hemwick. So English is canon in Bloodborne. I mean, and it does have this whole uh, architectural theme that would be consistent with that as well. It's like uh, Japanese is canon in Sekiro. It's the same sort of thing.
Did the writing on the Kerr camera ever get deciphered? Well, that's the writing that I'm talking about. It's, it's basically scribble scrabble. Basically some scribble scrabble. Ooh. I heard the Japanese voice subtitles were off when finally introduced. Yeah, like I said, English was... You couldn't play the game in Japanese upon release. They, they eventually later patched that in. When someone complains about money but goes into work super late and leaves early almost every day... <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I still don't have any, um, any paper. You know what I could use, though, instead of paper? Hold on. Hold on. We'll get it. It's somewhere. Boom. Empty phantasm shell. Nice. Oh, he almost swiped me. He almost swiped me. Beast versus beast. He's going for the grab. I'm going for the jump. Right to his face. That was a miscue on me. I was way too aggressive there. Roll through. Roll through. Triple roll. Oh, dude. Nice shot. Nice shot. I might die here. I'll take a heal. I'll take another heal. Just wait for this. Hey, you're going to put that big hand out there for me to hit. I'm going to take those hits, buddy. I'm going to take those hits. Wait, wait, wait. Watch this. Booty slap. Booty slap. Booty slap. Dude, I've been I've been hit with that uh, that first attack too many times. Booty slap him. Let's get that empty phantasm shell back. One more, dude. I'm the booty slap champion. That's gonna hit me. Double pump. He's going up. I'm going to the back. I'll take two swings. Wait for the fire. Go in for another two swings. Wait for the backhand. Get the booty slaps. Back-to-back -back booty slaps. Another backhand. Giving me more back-to-back -back booty slaps. Into the front hand attack, though. He's going to go up and down. And I rolled in, or I tried to go in just a split second too early. I'm not dealing with that, though. I'll wait for this. I'll wait for that. He's backing up. Three hits that time. I felt a little aggressive. And now he's down on the ground. He tagged me there with his AoE attack. I'll get three hits, hit a blood vial, roll under that. I'm going to use the bone now just in case something weird happens. That's exactly why I use the bone. We get those extra iframes. Six hits in. A little bit too early right there. I'll try to get as much rally as possible. I didn't get it all. He's going for the fire and the flames. Underneath the arm. We should be able to kill him there. Easy. Perfectly timed scream, if I might add. Perfectly timed. Safrit with the two-month Twitch Prime subscription. Thanks so much, Safrit. He's such a beautiful boss. One of the best. One of the best. Now, let's use our umbilical cords here. Oh, we only have, uh, we only have two to use. So let's go to Wet Nurse. I forgot I didn't do Wet Nurse, and we're not getting the dialogue. So we'll, we'll kill Orphan of Kaz last. We'll kill Wet Nurse, then Orphan. No, no, Wet Nurse, then Garman, then Moon Presence, and then finally Orphan. 
Don't forget the paper. Ah, we'll just use the uh, the empty phantasm shell. I forgot the paper already. What's the name of this armor? Well, I'm using the Beast Embrace Rune. Um, and I'm using just random armor. But the, what you want is the Beast Embrace Rune. You get that from killing Lawrence. And then you want to use the Beast Claw with it. How do you fight Orphan after Moon Presence? The Zeus Strats, man. All you gotta do is use an in-game item. I'll show you how. All you need is a bold hunter's mark. I'm gonna run up here, just grab these two uh, cold bloods, and then we're gonna go down, back the other way, and pick up some chunks. Just for the hoarder in me, just for the hoarder in me. Does the Beast Pellet help much after New Game 3? The Beast Pellet is the most OP item in the game. There is nothing it doesn't help with. Unless uh, we're talking about uh, blood weapons or arcane weapons. Is the Orphan the last boss in the DLC? I consider him the last boss in the DLC, yes. You could also fight Lawrence as the last one. If you wanted to. Wow, terrible opening attack there. Can we get the three hits? No, only one. I'll go for one and then Scrooge on through there. Playing it a little bit risky, but we do have the bone. Let's go for the sweep attack right underneath the dress. Did you see that? Perfectly placed. Nightmare phase. And we... D I forgot. I forgot. Nightmare phase is hard to dodge. With the, uh, with the beast rune. The beast embrace rune. dead. Ooh, that was close. That was closer. Made it through nightmare phase and we didn't even just... A lot of players you'll see just go right around in a circle during nightmare phase and try to avoid everything, but that's not what the blood god does. That's not what the Blood God does. I fight him straight up in their face. You do that admittedly? There's nothing wrong with doing that, man. Nothing wrong with doing that. That's just not how I like to play. Unfortunately, we couldn't see the empty 50-gallon barrel. She's hiding underneath the dress. How does it feel being the blood god? Wet and damp. Also, quite cold. <laughs> you ran in circles the two times you fought her? No worries, I've done the same thing, man. Jacoby with the eight month resubscription. Thanks so much, Jacoby. And now we're at 99 insight, so we can buy some stuff here. There we go. 
There we go. Zero insight. Before I forget, we need to destroy these umbilical cords, though. Before I forget. Bro Chacho Steve with the brand new Twitch Prime subscription. Welcome in, Bro Chacho. Thanks so much, dude. Great opening. Great opening. This guy's actually pretty rough with the Beast Claw, especially if you don't parry him. I was on the ground, he couldn't even hit me. That, that was pretty that was pretty funny. I was on the ground, he couldn't even hit me. There's a jump. Dude, he's got poise for days. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm alive. I don't know how well this is going. Jeez. Yeah, just got to be a little bit more patient with him. Wait for the attacks and then go in for the attacks. It's simple. Oh, I think I came out ahead on that one. He didn't touch me, but I got him for a little bit. Just a little bit of a glancing blow, but I'll take it. Nothing there, though. Oh, he almost shot my face off. Such a sick combo he's got there. Nice shot with the, ca the blunderbuss there, buddy. Wait, did he actually tag me? Respect. I didn't think he got that hit. Go for the booty slap. Just in time. Let's go. Can we get the jump on him? We did. Let's transform back a little bit. He's going for the slug. That'll give me a hit. Wait for the combo. Wait for the gunshot. Dash in. Dude, he's quick. He's quick. Nice. He almost tagged me three times there. Another slug attack. If that gunshot hits you... Whew. I'm sorry, I had to stop the commentary for a second. If that gunshot hits you, you will be parried, and he will take that visceral. He jumps, I jump. I didn't have the distance, he didn't have the accuracy. I'm dead. He hit me... Dude, he hit me at the perfect time right there. I'm really surprised. If I didn't have the lake runes equipped... The only reason I survived that is because I have the lake runes equipped. One's, a, like I said before, 7% damage reduction and the other's 5%. Only reason I'm alive there. We don't have the bone on anymore. It's okay. I know how to dodge that combo. Let's get some more bone action. Quickening versus bone is pretty good. I mean, it's just such... Like, this fight is just so good. But Garman just ends up giving it to us at the end. Alright. Only have six blood vials for moon presence. Let's see if we could do this. And you know what? I need... Hold on. I don't have it equipped. Let's put on the Bold Hunter's Marks real quick. Oh my god! So much for having six blood vials. We only have five now. We o Okay, we only have four now. <laughs> okay, Zeus. It, this is not a hard boss. This is, Zeus, this is, this is not a hard boss here. Zeus! <laughs> I 
I guess, I guess it's harder than it looks. <laughs> Rusty Shakes with the brand new gifted subscription to Dice the Vice. I was just, I was like, you know what? I'm getting my rally back. I get hit again. You know what? I'm getting my rally back. I get hit again. I'm getting my rally back. Double swipe. Dead. I deserved it. I deserved it. That's not what I wanted. There we go. We figured out how to roll. I'm dead. <laughs> okay. Now that we're set and ready to go. Dude, I'm just, I'm not giving her any respect. I'm, I'm not even attempting to dodge it properly. What am I doing? I'm not, I'm, I'm bad at the game, guys. I'm bad at the game. What do you want me to tell you? I'm, I'm, I'm the worst player in the world. We have zero damage so far. Can I even hit her? There we go. Underneath the arm. Wrap around to the booty. Hit her with the booty slaps. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. Can I get some rally back here? Uh, not as much as I want. So let's just evacuate the premises. Avoid the tail there. Let's go for more bone gaming. Uh, she hit me with her blood attack. I wonder, can I use the special blood? No, I can't. I never I never tried to use the special blood during that attack. Oh no, she hit dude, this is actually really bad. Come on. Who, dude, we couldn't we couldn't hit a heal at all and then she did her 1 HP attack. All right, we still got to fight Orphan. So let's Bold Hunter's Mac here. Remember the doll is evil. Garman is dead. Moon Presence is dead. The only thing left in the dream is this evil wench. Let's go to the lighthouse. The time has come to kill the Orphan. How close is the timing for getting out of the fight? As soon as you see Nightmare Slain, press Bold Hunter's Mark. As soon as you see it. Let's do a skip here. I feel like it. It's been a while since I've done this skip. What if the Hunter's only real desire is to turn into... Sl a slug, that might be pers a personal choice that you are free to exercise, but that's not how all hunters feel. What the hell did I ever do to you? You know what you did. Quick cheats, quick cheats. You want Orphan's weapon? Me too. There's a few weapons in Bloodborne that I would love to have. Orphan of Causes Placenta, Thumerian Queen's Blood Sword, and the, the Labyrinth Sage's corpse body <laughs> I would like all three of those as, as usable weapons in Bloodborne and that's why I want the Bloodborne MMO are we going to be talking about placenta smoothies again if all goes well
Booty slap. Booty slap. Oh, you know, I tried being cheeky and going for the transform attack, uh, but that didn't work. Okay, that doesn't work either. That's going to hit me. Oh, it didn't. I'll take it. Booty slap. Booty slap. Yo, this guy turned around super quick on a dime. I'm impressed. I'm impressed with that. Oh. Mm, I was too aggressive there. Should have only gone for three attacks. Scooch. Scooch. Yo, I'm playing terribly. I'm playing so bad. There we go. Oh. There we go. Get the booty slaps in. Dude, he almost tagged me again there. He almost tagged me again. Scooch. Scooch. He's got special powers on his mom's body. I shouldn't be fighting him here. But I wouldn't be nothing if I ain't risky. Do it. Do it. Oh, dude, the transform attack for the second time has gotten me into bad trouble. And then he hits me with the quick attack. I gotta get out. I gotta get out. Ooh, I framed. I framed. Can I hit this? Can I hit this? Don't have enough distance. Don't. What? Yeah, okay, Bloodborne. That, that's a rare example of a Bloodborne hitbox just being a little bit too wide. Yeah. That one I don't agree with. That one I don't agree with. It happens, though, man. It happens. That hitbox was fine. Yeah, the programmer himself trying to defend his own trash hitboxes. Fix your game, Miyazaki. Fix your game. Bloodborne is fair. Most of the time it is, but every once in a while, it just janks up. It janks right up your ass, honestly. <laughs> you could use the beast hide chest piece. Uh, you could use that if you wanted to use that. But if, if you don't realize, I'm actually the one playing the game right now. It, you're, I know you're looking at the screen and you have a controller in your hand and you're pretending to play the game as I'm playing along, uh, but it's actually me playing it. So I'm going to make the decisions for gameplay here, not you. Why didn't my uh, plus start when he beat Moon Presence? I used a Bold Hunter's Mark. What's your favorite weapon and your least favorite weapon? Uh, favorite weapon is a blood letter. Least favorite weapon is the 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 the, the writer palash. If you had the chess piece, that would have totally saved you there. <laughs> Cause parasite? Wait, are you saying the cause parasite is your least favorite weapon? I hope not. Cause Parasite's amazing. No, you're just wrong, Rick. You're just wrong. Blades of Mercy is your favorite? No, Blades of Mercy isn't a weapon in Bloodborne. You must be thinking of the Blade of Mercy. It's like people calling this the Beast Claws. God damn it, it's the Beast Claw. Get it right. Oh! That was... How, how, much, how much risk do we have to take? Like, do we really have to spam him?
That's fine. That's fine. Booty slap. Heal in his face. He doesn't know where I am. Where did he? Oh, God, he knows. He knows. That's dangerous. I should never go for two of those attacks. Whew. Heal in his booty. Heal in his booty. Bunk. I am the Master Orphan Bader. Dodged all three of those like a legend. Can you pose? <gasps> he dodged my booty slap. He dodged my booty slap. I might die here. Perfect eye frames through the lightning, through the placenta. Who even knows how good I am? Oh my god. Booty slap, booty slap, booty slap, booty slap, booty slap. Oh, staggered him so hard in the booty. He doesn't know what he's doing. Watch this booty slap. That's not a booty slap. I missed it. I didn't. Even, I pressed the button. I pre watched it. No, no, no. I'm fine. I pressed the button, dude. Miyazaki, register my button clicks. Register them. Oh, jump on him. Oh, baby. He wasn't expecting that. Quick! Bone him. Go up. Booty slap. Hit him in the rectum. Give him a lesson in proctology. And the last boss is killed. What a goddamn fantastic game this is. Best game ever made. Don't even try arguing it.